Hello, my name is Brian Smith and I'd like to introduce you to a new programmable differential temperature controller, the Tiny DTC. The Tiny DTC is a full featured differential controller that is fully programmable. The Tiny DTC operates from a 12 volt supply that comes in here. It features a 5 amp relay output for switching both AC and DC loads that you connect here. This is the relay. It has a two-digit LED display for reading the temperature sensors, as well as programming all the temperature controller modes and parameters. There are two push buttons on board for configuring all the programmable settings. The Tiny DTC comes with two temperature sensors. This is them here. They're coiled around here, right here and here. That comes with the unit. They connect to the, the Tiny DTC with, through an MTA IDC connector right here. The Tiny DTC is available with the plastic enclosure shown, or can be ordered without an enclosure if you already have one. So let's see how it works. In status mode, which is what it's in right now, it will display the status of the two temperature sensors and the relay output. So this is temperature sensor 1 is 60, temperature sensor 2 is 60, and the relay state right now is open. So in status mode, there are two other options. You can also it also re remember and record the lowest temperature it sees on the, on the two temperature sensors, as well as the highest temperature it sees. This is kind of nice if you're gone during the day. You can come in and see what what was the high and low temp it saw. Um, and you can clear that if you'd like by just going hitting the up arrow. And that's the history reset. That'll clear those sensors out, those uh, memory settings out. So if you want to change the programming modes, you push the two buttons together. Now it's in temperature control mode. So now we get to pick which temperature control mode to run. This is differential control. So in differential control, there are several parameters you can set. Uh, first is the delta on. This is the, the differential between the two sensors that will turn it on. So if if T1 is greater than T2 by 5 degrees in this mode, you can change that if you'd like, or 7 degrees, let's say, it will turn on. This is the delta offset point, and it's set for 2 right now. You can change that to, to whatever you want, so long as it's less than the delta on, which the unit enforces. It also has a high temperature shutdown. Uh, this is set for 125. 125. Uh, this is used, let's say, if you wanted to keep your hot water storage tank from going above 125. When it's set like this, it will look at the T2 sensor, and when, if it tries to go above the set point, it'll disable the output. It also has a low temp shutdown mode. This works the same way, but with the T1 sensor, and if it tries to go, if the T1 goes below this set point, it'll also disable the output. This could be if you didn't want your, your unit to run when it's freezing or close to freezing out, maybe you have a drain back system. Uh, that would be a set point you could use for that. It also has a freeze protect mode. It's set for off right now, but you can turn it on. Uh, this is this will uh, force the output on if the uh, if T1 temperature goes below 35 degrees F, and it'll force it on. It'll override all your other set points. So uh, it's to keep your pipes from freezing. Is the general plan. Uh, I don't recommend running your unit, whatever it is, outside uh, when it's below freezing. But if you've got the right setup, right materials in your in your supply, uh, antifreeze or whatever, then you should be okay with that. And that's it for the set points for differential mode. Um, the unit also does support um, other temperature control modes. So we were running in differential, but you can also run it in, um, this would be like a thermostat heat mode, just a standard heat control. And when you run in heat, it also has a cool support. So this would be like a thermostat set for cool, so it's trying to keep you below a certain temperature. The heat's trying to keep you above a certain temperature. You can set the set point with this when, when you're in these modes. And it also has a timer mode. Uh, this is like a psycho timer, so you can set a, an on time and an off time value. And it will, for the on time, it'll turn the, repo, uh, the relay on for that period of time you've selected. 
followed by it'll turn it off for the period for the off timer. And this just repeats over and over. This is good for like circulating pumps that you're trying to maybe equalize two temperatures or, uh, or like a hot water system you like to keep the, the water warm in the pipe, something like that. It also supports um, just forcing the output on if you want to check your output and disabling it if you wanted to work on it, for example, you didn't want to worry about it turning on. You can do that as well. And that's about it. That's the tiny DTC. Uh, the temperature sensors here have come with about six foot of cable. You can extend that 50 or, or even 100 foot if you use a nice twisted type of cable. And um, the unit runs off a 12 volt supply. We use this little wall works here that you can buy on the, on the website. But you can also, uh, if you have your own 12 volt DC, a nice regulated supply, you can use that as well. This unit uses less than 100 milliamps in all cases. And if you have any more questions or want more information, go to the MyDTCStore.com uh, my and you can read all about it, and as, long as, as well as other temperature controllers. Thanks for watching. Bye.